so you probably saw on Twitter earlier, I was pretty pissed off. And for good reason, too. Because this is fucking bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. Matt fucking Tift. Matthew fucking Tift. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, lucky, lucky you. L I'm uh, honestly fucking lucky you. You are, you are fucking lucky if you do not, if, if you have the pleasure and the privilege to not know who this fucker is. I envy you so much. Matt fucking Tift is, I'm not going to say the most talentless driver in NASCAR, but at the same time, with as many opportunities that he's had, with as big of opportunities as he's had, and with the respect he's been given, he's probably the worst driver in NASCAR right now. And this guy is going into front row motorsports. Now, it's not like front row motorsports is any good, but they do they it, it seems like they they should be good. You know, they had Chris Busher and he was all right. Uh he got the one win. Granted that was rain shortened, but he got the one win still. Still had to plan out strategy and, and I mean, he was doing good in shit equipment. Which like I said, it, it's it's about medium equipment. It, it's not it's not great. It's about Richard Childress level of equipment pretty much. So, um, it's about 15th, 15th place equipment, but you could still maybe go run for a win. It's, it says five star in NASCAR heat. So, <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but, uh, it's not horrible. It's not great. I mean, it's better than BK racing. It's better than Tommy Baldwin racing, but I mean, it's nowhere near close to like a Stuart Haas or even Chip Ganassi. Um, but yeah, Matt Tift, the fucking cunt himself, the fucker himself, the fucking piece of shit himself, is going to front row fucking motorsports. And I can't really say I'm surprised. Our truck series champion, Brett Moffitt, he doesn't have a ride next year. Amazingly talented, got a top 10 finish in one of his very first... One, I don't remember which start it was, but it was one of his first cup starts. He got a top 10 finish. Granted, there was a lot of bullshit that happened in that race, but still. I mean, it's a top 10 finish, and he won the Rookie of the Year for the Cup Series in 2015. He got out of the Cup Series, not, didn't even get an Xfinity Series ride. He's in the Truck Series with a shit team, and he wins the championship. Even with this stupid fucking format, he still won the championship. So, this day, the, the, Brett Moffitt, amazing driver. Doesn't have a fucking ride for next year. Doesn't know where the fuck he's going. Nothing. Meanwhile, Noah Gregson wrecks his teammate uh, to try to win. And doesn't even win at Canadian Time Motorsports Park. He's going to Junior Motorsports next year. Uh, Brandon Jones, he's in Joe Gibbs Racing for another year. Fucking isn't that lovely. Matt Tift is the worst fucking driver in all of fucking NASCAR. And we have Vinny fucking Miller <laughs> in NASCAR. Because Vinny Miller's, he's in shit equipment. I, I, I said earlier that Vinny Miller, Matt Tiffle wasn't as bad as Vinny Miller, but Vinny Miller has shit equipment. So, I can't really blame him. Matt Tift has gotten opportunities at Joe Gibbs Racing, Kyle Busch Motorsports, Richard Childress Racing. In the, in the Xfinity Series. Richard Childress Racing is very good in the Xfinity Series. Not good in the Cup Series, but very good in the Xfinity Series. So, he has had every bit of opportunity to show who that, that he can be good. And fucking no. He, he, he's not done jack shit in the three or four years that he's been a, he's been a, a driver at a professional level. So, this proves that NASCAR is fucking stupid. And uh, pretty much, it's just whoever, whoever is the most... Marketable driver. I'm, I'm pretty sure Natalie Decker is going to be in like fucking Hendrick in two years or some shit like that. <laughs> she's an ARCA driver who can't do jack shit, but she's a girl. So uh, she's probably going to be in like the top notch Hendrick Motorsports ride. 
uh, finishing 20th every week in the Cup Series, probably in the next three or four years. So that's lovely. Um, meanwhile, AJ Allmendinger, who's actually a good driver, is out on a ride. And uh, Ryan Priest did not get an, a full season in the Xfinity Series this year when he proves he's a great, great driver. But meanwhile, fucking drivers like Matt Tift, uh, who can't do jack shit, no wins in NASCAR, nine top fives, 38 top tens, 72 laps led is an entire career. He's ran 77 races. He hasn't done jack shit, but um, yeah. Fucking thank you, Front Row Motorsports, for being this way, because fucking we all know that we need, you know, less talent in your... Like, I feel like a good step to success for you guys would be hiring a talented driver. Um, and fucking Matt Tift, the main reason I hate him is not because he can't do jack shit, not because he's taking rides away from people who deserve it, but for what happened at Dover. Yes. So, uh, typical NASCAR, Matt Tift, like I said, Talentless fucking hack who's in top notch equipment gets Ross Chastain, amazingly talented driver in shit equipment, racing really hard with those two, and Matt Tift fucking gets the spot in the chase. Gets it to move on to the next round of the chase, gets to run for a championship, which we all know he fucking doesn't deserve, and Ross Chastain has to suck it up and just ride around in shit. In shit equipment for the rest of the season. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much uh, fucking NASCAR these days. So. Fuck you Matt Tiff. I, fuck, I fucking hate your guts. I really do. I, I fucking hate every bone of your fucking body. I, I, I fucking. I. I, I <laughs> you're, you're, you're a piece of shit. You really fucking are. I, I, I hate you too, so fucking much. I, I can't even. You fucking. Rich motherfucker who has no fucking talent and does not belong in a fucking NASCAR sanctioned car. In a NASCAR sanctioned event. You do not deserve to fucking be here. And now you're going into front row fucking motorsports because you have fucking money and nothing else. So yeah. Fuck Matt Tift. Pretty much the message that I'm getting out of this video. Fuck the state of NASCAR today. And yeah. I guess February comes around. I'll be sitting through another fucking season of this. Another 36 straight weeks. Or I think there's two off weekends. 38 weeks. Of uh, bullshit. So. Yep. That's pretty much NASCAR these days. Fuck Matt Tift. Um... Daniel Hemrick's way more talented. He was in the same equipment and almost won the championship. So, and he did win the championship in the good format. But, yeah, fucking bye. Yeah, fuck Matt Tift. Fuck NASCAR. Fuck everything. Bye. Fuck you.